welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing a movie theater in southern Florida that I was able to go visit. And before we get started, don't forget if you haven't hit that subscribe button down below to go ahead and hit that. I really appreciate it. So the movie theater that I went to visit this past week and I went and saw Free Guy with my buddy was the Magnolia Square Plaza. Is that what it is? Magnolia Place Stadium located in Coral Springs, Florida. So that's just a little bit south from me. It's about an hour and 10 minutes south. So me and my buddy made a day of it, driving down there, seeing a movie, and then hanging out with a friend that lives in that area. I never did a review for Free Guy, but I'll just go ahead and say right now, two thumbs up for that movie. And even my friend that I was seeing it with, he's not a big fan of movies. It's hard to get him to watch a whole movie. He enjoyed it too. So yeah, Free Guy was a win. But anyway, back to the theater. When you walk in, one, it's clean, which is always nice because nobody wants to go see a movie or even eat in a restaurant or do anything in an area that's just dirty and filthy. So it was good that it was clean. That's always a given, mostly with these theaters. But the next thing that I instantly noticed was the neon lights vibrating throughout the whole entire lobby and lighting up the place. It, was, it caught me off guard, to be honest. And I really did enjoy seeing something like that because the theaters that I have near me, they don't do anything like that. They have neon lights on that first theater review that I did. They have it on the outside, but not in the inside like that. And it kind of gave me a vibe of like an old time theater of what it would be. And it was kind of retro. I digged it. So when I pulled up to this theater, I was thinking to myself, what the hell, where is this place? Because it was in the smack middle of a plaza and pulling up, I didn't even notice where the theater was. My friend had to point out, no, there's, the theater's right there. So I had I had no idea where it was. It's right in the middle of the plaza. When I saw it, I'm thinking, okay, it's not going to be that big. It's probably going to be small. But then I saw the sign where it said it had 16 theaters in it. But when you walk in, the place really does open up. And uh, it was very, it was much lar larger than I thought it would be for a theater right in the middle of a shopping plaza. I cannot stress this enough. If a movie theater nowadays does not have recliner seats and the option to be able to buy your ticket in advance, that is a theater that will not exist anytime in the future. One, theaters are already struggling, even the nice ones. So theaters that don't have that stuff, I don't know how you're still paying bills and how you're still getting re repeat customers. Because for me, I think I'm spoiled now. I need to see a movie. I wanna be comfortable. I wanna be in that recliner chair. This theater, owned by Regal, they they have the recliner chairs. I was able to use my Regal app to book my ticket a week in advance, which is always nice. The theater was empty, but that's not the point. And we had those recliner seats. I was able to lean back and feel comfortable. If a theater does not have that nowadays, like the theater that I did my first review of, I don't even know how that place is still in business, to be honest. But in an age now where a lot of people are getting used to watching these new movies and these big movies at home on their own recliner, you got to really entice them to come out to the theater to sit in their recliners. So the theater being clean, the theater having these big comfy chairs for their guests are all positive things. Something that wasn't positive, and I really don't want to blow it out, out of proportion, but it was just, you could feel it in the air. No one wanted to work. No one gave two shits about what was happening at that theater. None of the workers cared. We walked in, you know, I, I'm i a good movie goer. I bought my ticket in advance. I paid for everything and I walked in and no one scanned my ticket. No one even questioned my ticket. I just walked straight in, walked past everyone. I, it's not like I ran past them because I wasn't trying to hide anything. They just didn't care. I. I don't know, maybe the end of the week for them was just, they already checked out mentally, I don't know. But running a business like that, you know, for people that wanna save money and feel like they're swindling someone, yes, that's cool for them because, oh, we got in without paying for the ticket. But for the people that actually paid the ticket, you kind of feel like, what the hell? And second thing, you know, something big that has happened a couple times within the last couple years Specifically, the one that stands out to me is The Dark Knight Rises because it was just so unexpected, is theater shootings and feeling safe in a theater when the lights go down. And I saw people 
walking around with backpacks and if these people didn't even stop me to check my ticket I doubt they stopped to check their backpacks and I doubt they stopped to check their tickets so there was that uncomfortable level of me seeing these people with backpacks not knowing if they were checked or not and if I'm safe in this theater trying to be entranced into my own world of watching this movie and not paying attention to what's on the side of me or what's behind me so the the people not paying attention to not only scanning my ticket but I know if they didn't do that then they sure as shit did not check this guy's bag you know that's kind of a problem should I have said something to the theater workers maybe I don't know but I don't want to be that guy and I just in the moment I felt like maybe it wasn't a big deal and I I, I was with my friend I wanted to enjoy the movie but now looking back it, I think that it kind of is a big deal and you know I really don't want to be that guy to overthink something but it it was in my head I I can't lie if the thought was in my head about okay well what if that did happen the theater would be liable because they didn't check anything but you know looking back obviously nothing happened and that's a good thing but these people I'm sorry if you had a bad day but I have bad days too but you still have to take your job seriously but other than that the theater was great my experience for the most part was really good I had a great time watching this movie with my friend and the theater was clean so other than that my one looming thing that I had to say about the theater other than that the theater experience was great and yeah you know my friend that lives in that area I told them about them not scanning our ticket or checking anything and she said oh yeah those people they don't care over there so even she recognized that that theater because she said there's two theaters in this area she said which one did you go to so when I told her she said oh yeah that one they don't care um, that used to be the hangout spot in high school and you could pretty much do anything so I don't know maybe it was just the area of town that I was in could be but anyway that's my review of the Magnolia Plaza Square I messed it up again that's my review of the Magnolia Place Stadium 16 in Coral Springs Florida if you like this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below if you have not already. What are some theater experiences that you've had? Go ahead and throw them quickly down in the comments. I love to read them if they are positive, if you have a favorite theater, or if the one around you sucks. Every Sunday at 9 a.m. on all podcast platforms and the video version of the Only Film Fans podcast comes out on YouTube and podcast platforms where you can see me and two other hosts, that being Jared from Jared Talk Cinema and Let's Be Real with Brad, both on YouTube. Check out their channels. But every week we discuss different topics about movies, obviously. But go ahead and check that out also if you have not already. Until next time, I need you to go into the woods and find a blue flower with red thorns. Now we're going to get the... That arc's off, Bunzer.